G'day brewers. In this video, when you're building a brewery, should you use uni tanks or should you use bright tanks? Let's find out. My name is Hendo and I'm from Rockstar Brewer. I give brewers the tools they need so that they can make awesome beer. If you'd like to know more about that, hit me up on the website. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. On this channel, I answer questions from professional brewers and the occasional home brewer uh, to give them tips and advice to help them make awesome beer. If you've got a professional brewing question, well that's what this channel's all about. So leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer your question. This week's question comes from Aaron and he writes, Hey Hendo, I'd like to get your opinion on using an FV as a traditional bright tank. This would be purely from a versatility standpoint. Instead of investing in a flat bottom BBT, why not purchase an extra fermentation vessel for a similar price? Use it for the same purpose as the BBT, but it could also have the future flex flexibility of an FV if needed. Any cons to this? Cheers, Aaron. That's a really good question, Aaron. Uh, let's dive in and take a look at the pros and cons. So, firstly you need to know what the difference is between a uni tank, and I use the term fermentation vessel or FV and uni tank interchangeably in this video, uh, and what the difference is between that and a bright beer tank. A uni tank is always a cylindroconical vessel. That means it's got a cylinder at the top and a cone at the bottom. And the reason why a uni tank has a cone is so that at the end of fermentation, when the beer is put on chill, that the yeast drops out of solution and forms a nice tight cone of yeast uh, at the bottom. And this is kind of handy if you want to harvest and reuse yeast later. A bright tank, on the other hand, has a different shape. So it more has a flat bottom and is primarily used as a staging point uh, to hold beer uh, prior to packaging. So why would you use a uni tank? Well, uni tanks are really cool in that they make the brewing, the whole brewing process very, very simple. Uh, basically, you put wort and yeast into a tank, ferment it, chill it, carbonate it, and then you can pretty much pack beer straight out of a uni tank. Uh, it makes things pretty simple. This has some inherent benefits for the beer. Firstly, uh, the labor around making beer in a, in a single vessel is much, much less. It's way easier to brew into a tank and pack out of the same tank. Secondly, you don't need to move the beer to another tank prior to packaging. So the benefit there is that you have a lower risk of dissolved oxygen pickup and a much lower micro uh, microorganism pickup risk. And because you don't need to move the beer, it's just much less work. So why would you use a bright beer tank? Well, BBTs offer a different kind of solution to really the same kind of problem, which is making as much beer as you possibly can in your commercial brewery. Mainly it's around large breweries and higher throughput breweries where they're making a larger volume of beer. By having bright beer tanks, you separate out the, the different roles between production, and that by that I mean work production and cellaring and dry hopping from the actual process of packaging itself. So by moving the beer from one tank to another, you're basically handing off the beer from the production team through to the packaging team. Bright beer tanks are generally used in breweries where there's a separate brewing team and a packaging team. The idea being is that uh, when you're operating your brewery at maximum capacity and you're using bright beer tanks, you have one day in which you're cleaning the bright beer tank and transferring beer into it, carbonating it and preparing it for packaging and then the next day you're emptying the tank into bottles, cans or kegs. And then on the, on the following day, you're cleaning the tank and refilling it again. So when you use a bright beer tank, they work on alternate days. So one day for cleaning and filling, one day for packaging, following day for cleaning and filling, next day for packaging. So if you're in a brewery that only has one bright beer tank, effectively, unless you're running, you know, working overnight, uh, you can only package beer once every two days. So it's quite common in commercial breweries to see uh, more than one bright beer tank or at least two bright beer tanks. But can you use a uni tank as a bright beer tank? Well, yes, you can. There's really nothing stopping you from moving beer from one uni tank into another uni tank, carbonating the beer and, and packaging it as per normal because there's no real benefit to the shape uh, of the tank. It's more about the contents of the tank. But there is one key difference, 
and the key difference is around uh, maximum safe working pressure of the tank. So often bright beer tanks have a higher maximum safe working pressure. So a normal uni tank would have a maximum safe working pressure of around 200 kPa. A bright beer tank, for instance, uh, may have a higher maximum safe working pressure of say 300 kPa. Why is this an issue? Well, it comes down to a couple of things. Firstly, having a higher maximum safe working pressure uh, is sometimes necessary for certain types of bottling lines where uh, they might have a header tank in the bottle filler that requires a um, higher beer pressure in order for them to work properly. So you need higher head pressure in the bright beer tank to actually push the beer through into the bottling machine. Now that's not to say that you can't achieve the same thing with a uni tank with a lower maximum safe working pressure. For example, you might choose to use a pump out of the bright beer tank or uni tank uh, on the way to the bottling machine to make up for that lack of maximum safe working pressure that the uni tank can't provide. But many brewers just don't want to use pumps for their delicate beer. Hence, they stick to just using bright beer tanks and using CO2 pressure in the headspace to push the beer off to the packaging line. The other reason that bright beer tanks usually have a higher maximum safe working pressure is for nitrogenation of beers. Now this is pretty rare, uh, but if you want to nitrogenate your beer, it's generally done under higher pressure. And so you need to be able to have a tank which is capable of withstanding those higher pressures in order to have nitrogen dissolve into your beer. It's pretty rare, but it occasionally happens. But one thing that is for certain, whenever you're using tanks under pressure, you need to make sure that you're super safe and are mindful of the pressure uh, that's inside the tank. So to sum up, should you use a bright beer tank or should you just use uni tanks? It goes like this. If you're a small brewery with not a lot of staff and you're just starting out, just use uni tanks. Brew into them, pack out of them. It's nice and simple. If you're looking at building a larger production brewery, then bright beer tanks probably gonna be an option for you. So I hope that answers your question. If you've got a question you want to ask me about your professional brewing operation, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. I put out a new video every Friday, so if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.